morning, new surveillance video shows what appears to be the man who shot and killed United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson in New York City, appearing to carry an e-bike battery possibly used in the getaway. Every indication is that this was a premeditated, pre-planned, targeted attack. 20 minutes after this surveillance video was taken, around 6.45 a.m. Wednesday, the gunman approached Thompson as he arrived at an investor's conference, firing multiple times until his gun jams. He clears the barrel before firing again. I got like a black gun, and I saw him after he shot him, he ran across the street. The suspect runs through an alley, police say, then hops on an e-bike, disappearing into Central Park. Police recovered a water bottle, a candy wrapper, and a cell phone they believe are linked to the shooter. And detectives discovered writing on the shell casings found at the scene with the words deny, defend, and depose, sources tell ABC News. Thompson's wife, Paulette, told NBC her husband had received threats, adding she doesn't know the details. United Healthcare is the largest private health insurer in the U.S. Among companies in the health insurance market, it ranks highest when it comes to the percentage of claims denied nearly twice the industry average. Did he have any known enemies or, or anyone that you've been able to find so far? We're, we're reaching out to law enforcement in Minnesota, and we're also interviewing his, his co-workers and family members to see if there have been any specific threats against him in the past. Thompson worked at United Healthcare for 20 years and was promoted to CEO in 2021. The 50-year-old Minnesota native was also a father of two. His wife tells ABC the family is shattered, describing Thompson as loving, generous, and talented. Detectives are now running tests to see if there are any traces of fingerprints or DNA on the items the shooter appears to have left behind. All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome to another video of my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this video, we're going to be reacting to uh, the shocking news, shocking event that happened, I believe it was yesterday, um, in New York City where a CEO of a, if not the top health insurance company in the United States uh, was shot and killed um, right outside his hotel. Uh, he was making his way back inside the hotel where he was gonna uh, deliver a speech to uh, this sort of health insurance uh, conference um, that included other health insurance companies and staff that were attending, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, this was a brazen uh, hitman style of uh, attack and murder. It's kind of shocking, but also it just makes me think it's 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 New York City. I mean, you just had, I think it was last week, just some random guy in Manhattan uh, stabbing people and killed three people, just all random, like a, just randomly target people. The difference here is that this was a, or what looks to be, and what alleges to be a targeted attack, like I said, hitman style. You have a man with a silencer, uh, shoot a man through the back, waited for him. It looks like he was scoping out the place. He was observing Mr. Thompson, the victim here in, the, in this situation. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, very, very sad situation. Uh, my condolences to the family, uh, but it was it's really a story that has shocked the nation, has really uh, grasped the attention of the country because of how the style of the attack, uh, this sort of, like I'm going to say it again, it's really like a hitman uh, type of, of, of murder. Um, you have this guy in all black covered from head to toes, uh, a pistol with a silencer, you know, you can tell uh, reports have come out that, that from officers or experts claim that based off the video that they believe the man has had weapon training or is, ha is trained or somehow is, uh, yeah, that he is trained to, to not only use this weapon, but no knew what he was doing as far as the attack and uh, where to shoot. Um, I mean, I'm I'm a little troubled by by the lack of you know knowledge from police officers or the investigation as to who could have done it who could have done this but it's understandable it's, it's it just happened uh, you don't have a lot to go with as far as identifying the man but there were uh, shell casings uh, that were picked up from the um, 
from 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 the, the crime scene and said deposed. Uh, I think it was deny um, and uh, delay or something like that. Um, yeah, I think deposed and lie and delay uh, on the show on the on the shell casings of the crime. And so, what those words are related to or connected to, or what people have made the connection to, it is a book. I'll show you all here that has to do with insurance companies and more specifically health insurance companies. Um, <clears throat> it's a book that criticizes, uh, health insurance companies for not paying the claims, uh, that are made by their customers. And so this is a book delay, def delay, deny, defend, um, and why insurance companies don't pay claims and what you can do about it. And so it just, I'm just going to read you a brief, uh, abstract from the book. Uh, over the last two decades, insurance, ha insurance has become less of a safety net and more of a spider's web, sticky and complicated design to ens ensnare as much as to aid. Insurance companies now often try to delay payment of justified claims, deny payment altogether, and defend these actions by forcing claimants to enter litigation. So the book is how these big insurance companies take advantage of their customers who are not... Uh, who do not really don't have the resources to kind of uh, try to battle them as to why their claim has not been paid out, even though they were rightfully their claim was rightfully uh, filed and um, justified, right? Even even when the claim is justified and the insurance company is supposed to make a payout, uh, one of the strategies is for from the insurance company's perspective is to delay the the disbursement of the funds for the claim that the insured uh, rightfully deserves. And so, you know, it could be, and this is all alleged, it could be the situation where, uh, you know, there's people upset at United Health, uh, the company for not making certain uh, payments to people, or maybe somebody who was heavily impacted, maybe had a, a family member pass away, uh, or um, a family member suffered due to, due to the claims not, not being paid out, uh, or people, people that just feel, uh, taken advantage of when they're in their, in their most vulnerable, uh, positions in life. However, you know, a murder is never justified. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to explain the connection that people have made, uh, to, to this book, because it is the, the words on the shell casings are related to, or have similarities to this book who also, where the connection here happens is that the book is about uh, insurance, health insurance companies. The CEO uh, was the CEO of a health insurance company. And so sad situation, two, two children were left without a father. And it's becoming a, a manhunt um, for the suspect. And it's important for police and investigators to uh, bring this case to a close because of the deterrence factor. If you do not bring justice to these types of cases and really just justice to crimes, period, you will have a uh, an effect where since there was no punishment, therefore other people feel that they can do the same or commit the same offenses because there will be no punishment. So there has to be consequences to crimes in order to prevent crimes from happening. So that's pretty much what I have for y'all today. Uh, I'm trying to see if... Uh, what... What other updates? I think. Okay, here we go. So uh, there's there's a, 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 a new images have been released of the gentleman's face. Let's see if I've shot. Okay, let's go through this real quick. And I'll end the video here. So this is a suspect uh, that has that was that was the suspect in in the in the shooting. Urgent manhunt for the suspect who gunned down United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson outside a New York City hotel. Our senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky is at the hotel with the latest on the investigation. Good morning to you, Aaron. Good morning to you, Robin. 24 hours after this assassination-style killing, the killer is at large, but he left behind a trail of clues here at the scene that may lead police to him and to a possible motive, suggesting anger with the insurance industry.
This morning, a frantic manhunt for the man authority spotted on this surveillance video shooting and killing Brian Thompson, the CEO of United Healthcare. Police said it was no accident. Every indication is that this was a premeditated, pre planned, targeted attack. The gun appears to have a sign. Yeah, so I'll, I'll stop at that video there. We, I mean, we already saw that other video. So this is the face of the primary suspect of the attack. So I'll leave with that. I'll leave that there. Thank you all for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good night.